Well, hello there, Winwood Church family. It is, uh, it's good to be together in this way. Even though it's distant, we still get to, uh, to communicate. Uh, I'm standing in a place, and if you look behind me, you probably still remember where I'm at. Uh, I am in our church sanctuary, a room that I know we are all excited to get back to. And I'm coming from you from here today versus my house to speak to a question that I've been asked and maybe that you're asking yourself. That's the question. When are we coming back to church? And if you want an answer, the answer is we still don't know because this has uh, been such a changing situation just like you've experienced in your own life. The moment we think that, that we have a, an understanding of what's going on and how it's going to go, everything changes. The moment we get used to living by one set of rules, the rules change. So we just can't tell you for sure uh, when we are going to get to come back to church. I do want to share the thought pattern that the, uh, the staff and I have been discussing over really the last month or so about how and when we should come back. And this is what we have, have settled on as a framework uh, for our return one we are going to come back slow. Uh, I, I am not, and, and as a staff, we are not hoping to be the first one out of the gate. So you will see very possibly that some of your friends, their churches are going to return back to public worship before we will. And uh, I fully respect their decision just as I've thought and prayed and as our staff has thought and prayed. We believe the best thing for Winwood Baptist Church is to have a slight delay in a return date and see kind of what happens as life begins uh, to return to normal. So it is very likely that we will start at least two, if not three weeks behind when other churches in Kansas City, because we've got to follow the Kansas City guidelines, uh, will be two to three weeks behind when other Kansas City churches begin to start up. When we return to worship, we will also have an exclusive emphasis on our Sunday morning worship experience. And that means the following. One, we will not be gathering for uh, Sunday school or Wednesday evening activities to keep us all in large rooms to where we can still practice some common sense social distancing. Uh, when we get into our sanctuary, as we will be coming in here we will ask that people sit uh, in a family group, but still distant from uh, other people. And, and at Winwood, I really can't say family, because as we all know, everyone in this church is related to someone else in this church. Uh, except for Cody and I, and who knows, maybe we're long lost cousins <laughs> and just haven't figured it out yet. But uh, So maybe I should say household. Just sit with your household, but a little bit distant from everyone else. Uh, right now, the staff will be the only... Uh, leaders, uh, just Cody, Jackie, and I will be providing all the teaching and announcements and worship. Uh, unfortunately, and until we fully know what uh, to, full, until we fully know how to best care for us all as a church family, we're gonna we're gonna collect offering in a different way. We won't do a greeting time just to help us minimize any germ transfer until we uh, believe that the primary threat to the coronavirus has been resolved. Now, church, that's, that's, not the, that's not a real clear answer, and I understand that. And, and as someone who likes guidelines and structure, uh, even providing this answer is kind of like, what's the point in that? You don't really have anything. And we don't. I wish I could tell you a date, uh, but I can't. I, I can tell you, based on what I continue to see from Mayor Lucas's office, I don't see us coming back before July. Now, again, if everything radically shifts, we will accommodate that shift and our schedule. And so with all this, I just wanted you to you don't have some clarity and understanding as to what things will look like when we hit that point. And so none of this is, is etched in stone. Uh, so, so please don't come to me and say, well, Tim, you said it was going to be this way. Because like everyone else, I'm just trying to figure this out and follow the Lord's leadership on what's best for our church. Here are a couple reasons why we have begun to look at this as the framework for our routine. Uh, one, it, it is safety first. Uh, the, the same grid work 
that, that I and the, that the staff uses when we cancel a service or, or an activity based on weather is what is the safest thing for our people. And, and with this virus being such a, a nasty thing for people to fight off, especially those that for our children and some of our most senior adults, we're one to prioritize everyone's safety. And for that, we, we've chosen a more of a delayed framework. It's also true that, that what we are doing now is working. Um, a, a huge thank you to Jackie and Kitty and Cody, who have been so diligent at, at producing and publishing worship songs and Bible studies, and, and Kitty making sure we are aware of, of the most key details of our church. Uh, we are still acting as a church body, even though we can't gather corporately. People are still interacting with one another and caring for each other, even though it's not being done in the hallways of our church. And people are still being fed spiritually, even though they're not getting to sit in a pew or a chair in their classroom to receive their teaching. So what we are doing is actually working quite well. I also, with that in mind, want to say a tremendous thank you for your generosity and your giving, church. We are very financially stable right now, and I can't thank you enough for that. Can't thank you enough that we are not having to worry at all about how to meet our most basic expenses, because through your obedience to God, we are doing well financially. So again, we want to be wise and, and prioritize safety, and right now... We are accomplishing our goal as a church, even though it's done in a new way. So again, I wish I had a clear answer. I'm excited to, to when I can put a date on the calendar and say that's when it's going to be. And church, rest assured, when I put that date on the calendar, when we as a staff put that date on the calendar, you will hear about it. Because we will uh, promote that and publicize that in a variety of different ways to make sure that no one gets left out on our return information. But that will at least uh, help you have in mind what you can expect as we begin to look at returning to our corporate worship. Thank you so much for your faithfulness to the Lord and faithfulness to our church during this interesting time. Thank you for your encouragement and your obedience to the Lord during this time. Uh, we miss you. We are excited to get back together, and we look forward to that day just as much as you do. Thanks so much, and have a great week.